don't get too much junk. Welcome back to me and you outside. Hey, this is part two of the pawpaw video. Uh, you might have seen our previous video I did uh, about pawpaws. And my, my grandson Jackson, who's currently running the camera, by the way, uh, we were out in the woods in a river bottom. We were collecting pawpaws. And we ate some out there and tried it. And we liked them. And I brought some home, and we're going to make some pawpaw bread. But in the meantime, I have asked my uh, family to come down here. We're just going to try pawpaws. We're just going to uh, try them raw. They have never eaten a pawpaw. They have never even seen a pawpaw. They're scared spitless. Okay, they're all sitting around there. Show them all, Jackson. All scared to death. <laughs> Me and Jackson's the only ones that's not scared. But uh, <laughs> Brindley had a million questions about these pawpaws. Are they soft? Is that the color they are? Are this or that? But uh, she was, I think she'll be a trooper, at least try it. Give her give her the benefit of the doubt. We have to remember it's the only native fruit in the United States of America. Every fruit that we have in America has been imported except the pawpaw. And these have been eaten by thousands of years by Indians, Native Americans for years and years and years. And so we're going to try these tonight. Tonight we're going to eat these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split them down the middle here. I peel a little bit of a skin off of this in here because I wanted to look at it. And then I'm going I'm to open it up. Now what you have here, and i got to remind you guys as you're eating these, these have a row of seeds in them. There, there's like probably six seeds that big. You're not going to swallow a seed because they're so big. But what I do is I still put the seed in my mouth because you can suck the pulp off of the seed, okay? So I want to first give this to Amber right here. What I'm going to do is spoon her out some right here with a, oh, come on now. There's a good-looking spoon of pawpaw right there. See that right there, Jackson? That looks good. It's got to see one seed in there. Amber, there you go. Uh, put that in your mouth and try it. And this is pawpaw. Now, here's what I want you to be, be honest, because some people may not like pawpaws. And it's not, a, it's not a fruit that I would eat and go, oh, that is so delicious. It's kind of like eating a banana. You don't eat a banana and go, man, that is delicious. You eat a banana and go, well, that was good. That's kind of the way a pawpaw is. All right. Get in there, Jackson. Let's see the reaction here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's different than anything you've ever eaten in the food mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> It's not horrible, but it's kind of odd, the flavor and all. Mm -hmm. Spitting out the seed. Mm -hmm. It's edible. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just different. Yeah. Oh, Brindley's next. This will be the funnest right here. Cause Brindley, get in on that Brindley right there. Don't be filming me. Miss Brinley, this she's priceless sometimes on the, on on testing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this. Get up here. There she goes. She did it. You don't eat the seed. You can you can spit the seed out if you suck the pop off of it. Where's your napkin? Look at it. You don't have to eat it if you don't like it. It's okay, just just spit the seed out. <laughs> What'd you think? Now look at the people all across the world and tell them what you thought. <laughs> um, it was okay. <laughs> it's not like you're going to sit around the house and say, hey, let's eat some pawpaws. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not. It's just a fruit. If you're out in the woods and you, if you're an Indian and you come up on a pawpaw tree, I did when I was a little kid, man, we would just sit there and devour those because they were good because you were hungry out hunting or whatever. But. Really <laughs> 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 laughing because she's already done it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like, mmm. Hey, see, it don't taste like fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can smell it. Uh -huh. It smells good, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not me.
<laughs> it's 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 kind of sweet, mm -hmm. like a banana, like you said. Yeah, it is. Kind of <laughs> my between a banana dad. and a mango somewhere. Yeah, right. it's not my favorite texture, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the edible. Texture's it's definitely of... edible. I want to try some of your bread. Yeah, I don't like it. I think the bread will be good. <laughs> I think the bread will be very edible. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm giving them three <laughs> pools with seeds in them, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to spit those seeds out. Let me just throw them over there. Throw them on the ground. It smells go good. It smells good. It almost has a... You're doing what I do. Smell <laughs> it before you eat it. It yeah. almost has a little bit of a peachy smell, or, mm. not, or a nectarine or type. Yeah. Mango That's what I'm saying. It's got that. I tell you, though, it, seriously, if you're out hunting and you're hungry, you come up on a pawpaw tree, you're pretty happy about that. Yeah. You will sit there and eat that. Yeah. Oh, I thought those were pawpaws. Okay. A, di a definite, distinct taste. Um, <clears throat> I don't even think I would compare the taste to a banana. Me neither. The texture to a banana, like a soft, overripe banana. It's hard to compare it to anything, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It has and its the, own unique... Yeah. Just to sit around and eat those, just because... You wouldn't. No, but I can <laughs> see where it make good bread or good mm -hmm. jam. Well, the bread something. is the next. Maybe some mm -hmm. jam. Jam, possibly, yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, there you have it. That's the conclusion of this part of this video, but, but stay tuned because we're going to make some bread. And uh, kind of a mixed reaction here with the pawpaws. I think that nobody said it was absolutely horrible. Brinley is the only one that ended up saying she really didn't care for it because uh, yeah, she probably doesn't. There. But I think it's the texture as much as anything, even for Brindley. But um, here's your pawpaws. There's a big one right here. That's a nice big one right there. When that one gets soft, that's going to be good in bread, something like that. So, all right, we're going to go in. I'm going to make some bread, and we're going to try that. Uh, might just be my wife trying that, or it might be all of us. I don't know. But uh, we're going to get some bread made, and it's going to be really good. So hang in there. Stay right there. All right, I'm here in the kitchen. I want to work on these pawpaws and what I've got to do, I've got to skin these things and get the seeds out of them and try to salvage the pulp. And I tell you what, they're kind of a pain. If you can come over here, you can see I'm, it, they're, they're easy to peel. I mean, they just peel so easy and see that yellow meat. That's what you want right there. When they're yellow like that, that means they're ripe. So there's a couple ways you can test to make sure they're ripe. One is for sure is to feel it. And if I feel this right here, it's super soft. This is a soft, it's kind of like a, Oh, a pear, you know, when a pear sits around for a while, it'll get real soft, or a peach or something. This is the same way. And so all I'm doing is I'm just peeling the skin off of there because the skin has no value whatsoever in this situation. So I'm just getting the skin off, all right? There's a peeled pawpaw. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this thing up, and it is full of seeds. I don't know if you can see those dark things or seeds. They're... I, and for such a a, um, a smaller fruit, they're, they're just full of these huge seeds. I mean, here's one right here. That's a big old seed. That's about uh, four to five times bigger than a watermelon seed in a small fruit. It's a strange situation. So all I can do is I can take as much pulp off as I can. It still leaves a little bit on the seed. As you can see, I've done a few here. I've got a pile here of seeds that I've already done. But I try to get as much pulp off the seed as I can. Now you can put these in a uh, colander type thing if you have one of those metal funnels, and uh, squeeze it around. You get a lot. Of, you can you can get a lot of this off of there like that by, by straining it with one of those. I don't have one of those, so I'm just taking what pulp I can, and I have enough pulp balls that I think I'm going to be fine. I need to get three, uh, three cups, maybe four cups of this pulp. But now I've I've done this one little. Old, uh, Pawpaw here, I just showed you, and I think I got 10, 8 or 10 seeds out of it. I, it's just crazy. But I'm able to get quite a bit of meat. So I've got, uh, when you get a seed done, you still, there's a seed right there. But I've still got pulp on there. But I don't have a bunch, and so it's hard to get off. But what I can do is I take it off with a paper towel, and then that'll clean the seed like these ones I've got laying right here. They've been cleaned off. Now, those are actually ready by next year. You, I could plant those. And uh, actually, my brother planted some. He put them in his house first in a little planter like you would do for tomato starts. He did uh, pawpaws like that, and uh, they grew to about this big. And uh, 
he took them out, planned them, and they're doing wonderful. They're doing wonderful. They really are. So you look right there at these hands. You see they get all messy and everything, but that's just the way it is. It cleans up just fine. I can just clean all this stuff off there, and the pulp is kind of clean. Anyways, we're going to put all this together. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to get three or four cups of this pulp, of this, uh, pulp and I'm going to add some ingredients to it, kind of like making banana bread, but I'm making pawpaw bread, okay? And uh, we're going to see how it tastes. It's going to be fun, going to be interesting, so stay right there. We'll see how it tastes together. I'll show you what I got here. There's all my pulp. It's three full cups, which is really a lot of pulp. That's probably the equivalent to four big bananas. But we'll be all right using that. I've got eggs right here. I put three eggs in here. I'm just going to whisk them up a little bit. I'm going to dump that in there in that pulp. It's kind of like making banana bread, really. I mean, there, there's not much difference. In fact, some of this I use just a banana bread recipe. And I'm kind of experimenting anyway, so it may not be any good. If it's no good, we'll tell you if it's no good. All right. I've got some cinnamon, one teaspoon of cinnamon right here. I already got it in a little measure in Dilly Whacker here. If I don't spill it everywhere. Yeah. Cinnamon. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt. Pink salt. Baking soda. That was one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to go ahead and stir that stuff up in there. It's little little bitty bits of stuff. I'm just going to get it stirring. Just pulp of the egg. and it's going to make a good conglomeration here. That cinnamon stirring in there really good. Picking up Paul Paul's, putting them in your pocket. Picking up Paul Paul's, putting them in your pocket. Picking up Paul Paul's, putting them in your pocket. Way down yonder in the ball ball patch. Heard that song my whole life. My dad would sing it. Why, I don't know. All right, now, vanilla. Cannot forget the vanilla. One half teaspoon. A whole teaspoon of vanilla is what I'm putting in here. A whole teaspoon of vanilla. My manager is on the camera. Teaspoon of vanilla. You know these little things like a little teaspoon, half teaspoon of this, now that you think, oh, that's no big deal. If you forget it, It'll be a big deal, I guarantee you, especially vanilla and soda. A little bitty teaspoon of soda makes a world of difference. All right, I got my, my vanilla, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Make sure it gets in there with that good and uh, pulp. This is getting a good texture. See that? That's what I want. A little runny, because I'm about to solidify it here with some uh, sugar. Speaking of sugar, brown sugar. You can use white sugar. I'm using brown sugar. Why? I don't know. Just different. Okay. Mix that up in there. Ooh, that's looking better and better and better. Butter. Uh, a whole stick of butter. I just softened it. It's all jacked up, but I'm going to put that in there. Stir that around in there. There'll be a little clumps in there everywhere, but that don't matter. Them clumps will melt as that, as that bread cooks, and oh my goodness, it'll spread that butter in throughout the bread. And that, my friends, makes anything taste good. Anything tastes good with butter. Right? Right, you say. Two cups of flour. Here we go. This is the you know, final ingredient right here. I'm going to stir this up good. Good. Y'all can fast forward through some of this if you want to. I'm about to put this in a pan. I'm about to put it in the oven. As soon as I get this stirred up, it's going to have, a, I think it's going to have a pretty good consistency, which I watch for that when making any kind of banana bread or anything like that, because if it doesn't have a real good consistency, you could be in trouble. So I think I'm okay here. It's not too thick. It's not uh, runny at all. I see clumps of butter in there. Boy, I love that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to dump this in my pan. I got one here. This is a lot of stuff. Now it's going <laughs> to fill that pan up. <laughs> pawpaw bread. That's what we're doing here. Pawpaw bread. There we 
we go. Alrighty. This just looks like a lot. So I don't know. I'm putting her down in there. No, it's going to be okay. I thought, man, if that's too much, it'll be really full. It might even run over. It's a little thick feeling, but I don't think that's going to matter. I know one thing. When you ready to pull this out of the oven, we'll know. We'll know if it matters or not. We'll go to pull this out of the oven. I'm just spreading this around a little bit. Even in and out. Now when it heats up and starts cooking, it'll run, make it run in. It'll fill in all the gaps for its own. But in the meantime, I'm just getting it ready here. I ain't no chef. I just talk like one. Okay, I act like I know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm doing. None. I don't know what I'm doing. That's why it's kind of fun. Because I don't know what I'm doing. My wife knows I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. She's running the camera and probably laughing inside, but that's the way it is. Boom. Ready to put in the oven. Oven's preheated. 350 degrees. Slap it in there on the top rack. Woo. Uh, set the timer on this thing. Let's set the timer here at about... Let's go 55 minutes. I'll check it at 55 minutes. 55 minutes, and we're going to have pawpaw bread, and I'm going to have some of my family help taste this. We'll take it out of the oven tonight, but then tomorrow night they're all coming down. And that'll be the next thing you see is us all sitting around testing and tasting pawpaw bread. So we'll be right back in a flash doing that. All right, the time has come. We are going to taste pawpaw bread. Now, I'm up at my daughter's house. She just lives up the hill from the river uh, from where we live. We came up here tonight. I brought this, this uh, pawpaw bread up here because they're so excited to try it, I think. At least uh, I'm excited to try it for sure. And I think, Brindley, Brindley, are you excited to try pawpaw bread? Yeah. All right. This is a real taste tester right here. Jackson, the cameraman, is running the camera right now, and he's looking forward to tasting it. got my wife here. got my daughter here. got my son-in-law here. got my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. There's a whole bunch of people going to try pawpaw bread, so we're going to give it a try. Now, I still have another pan right here. That's exactly what I cooked it in. It's in the same pan I cooked it in, and I'm about to dump it out see how it works. Now, I did spray, before we put this in here, we sprayed the inside of this pan with, uh, you know, spray, what do they call it, spray oil, whatever that is you know, like a vegetable or something, we sprayed it. So it didn't stick, okay? So at least I don't think it's stuck. We're gonna find out here. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Pop right out. <laughs> okay, well, look at this. Mmm, now that looks so, so good. I got a real pretty knife right here. You see that pretty knife? I don't understand the pretty knife, but it's pretty. Now this is pawpaw bread, folks, I'm telling you. I have eaten many a pawpaw in my life, yes. but raw, never cooked in anything. And the consistency of this is totally different than banana bread or pumpkin bread. It's just totally different. I'm going to pull one out here and look at it. It's just real dense, uh, moist feeling. Um, you smell. Mmm. It smells delicious. It's got to be delicious. So we're going to get set up here. I'm going to get my family together, and we're going to try this pawpaw bread. We'll be right back in a flash. We are going to taste banana bread now. Uh -uh. Pawpaw bread. <laughs> I've been calling it banana bread all along. I had to do two or three cuts on it. Pawpaw bread, okay? So here we go. I'm not going to mess around. We're going to get this done. This video's long enough. Jackson, let's go. Take a bite of pawpaw bread and see what you think, buddy. All right. Just pick it up your hand and eat like a piece of candy. All right. Yep, it's good. I like it. You like it? Scott, go. It tastes like pawpaws. It does have that pop off flavor. Yeah, except the texture is way different, obviously, because it's bread. But cool. yeah, it tastes so has a pop off taste to it. I'm anxious to know. Just be honest. If you don't care for it, just say mm, it's not the best. You like I it? I like it. You mm -hmm. like it? It's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. It's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. It does. 
Jackson says, here's the ultimate test right here. Look at this. Yep, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Much better than just the pawpaw by itself. Mm -hmm. You like it better in the bread? Yeah. yeah. All right. Can, you can definitely taste the pawpaw, mm -hmm. the pawpaw flavor. Okay. But it's, um, like Jackson said, the bread makes it the texture better. Mm -hmm. And it just... Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind yeah, of mild it's still. It's a mild. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. So very good. There you have it. Everybody seems to like it. My brother-in-law, um, Toby, tried it a while ago. He already gave his piece inside, and he liked it. My daughter, another daughter, one of my daughters is in there. She's going to try it. My son's in there trying it right now. They're eating it. So pawpaw bread is good, folks. You get out and pick you some pawpaws. Put them in your pocket. And uh, that's as the old song goes. I just sang it. They just heard it on here. They don't want to hear it again. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Like I say, get out and get you some pawpaws if you can. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you subscribing. Tell your friends, tell your family, me and you outside. All I gotta tell them is me and you outside, one word, no spaces. That's the channel, okay? Thank you for watching. And I can assure you one thing the next video is coming right around the corner.